The first banner I spotted arrive at about half eight was the Lambton banner. And the first brass band arrived on the race course about then. Who the Craghead? Craghead are, I was going to say, in the building, are on the ground. There we are. Hello, Craghead. And if you want to shout out, come and say hello. We'll have a little chat with you. all these bands marching in. I think it's really uplifting. It gives you a sense of uh, tingling in, you know, just it's fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it. Year's gala is Rise Up, join the trade union, and it's a celebration and tribute to all those workers in struggle who have been taking strike action or are about to take strike action in defence of uh, fallen living standards um, and rising energy costs and, and, and everything else that's wrong with society at the moment. <laughs> for so many years now and it's just for me it's all about hope and it can be really tough when you're working on social justice issues especially at the moment you know I can't remember a more difficult time and it just reminds you that you're not alone and that there's more of us than anything else and that together we're so strong and we can achieve great things so it's a celebration but a day of hope that change is possible and we have the numbers to do it. My favourite part of the day actually is normally just walking in with my union. Um, that is, you know, everyone together. It's a really significant time for us at the moment because we are in a period of industrial action. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting amongst the membership, uh, enjoying uh, a celebration of working class history uh, and feeling that collective solidarity. <laughs> about nostalgia, it's not about um, remembering the old days, this is about where we are now. It's a special day for me, and whenever anybody in my constituency says, can you come to an event in July, I said, which day in July, they said it was a Saturday, I said, yeah, but which Saturday? They said, oh, the second one, I said, sorry, I'll send you a video. I said, why? I said, I'm in Durham. <laughs> I think the favourite part is seeing the new generation of people in Durham coming marching through because some of the children that we're seeing out there probably don't even know what coal is. And to be asked by the Durham Miners Association to do the address 
in the Durham Cathedral today on the blessing of the banners is a massive privilege for myself and my union. So this is my first time at the gala um, and I'm going to be totally honest, I've had just a range of emotions today from being absolutely elated to crying my eyes out because some of the, the bands are so powerful um, but I think it's just this idea and actual practical solidarity and coming together as a movement and that's really special, you know, nowhere else does it quite like Durham. but also conversations generally just interested in art and making zines and lots of people asking what is a zine and stuff like that. Yeah and sort of young kids who are really interested in politics you know they're about you know six or seven and they're you know got strong opinions already so that's a good thing and starting them, them young. Yeah. yeah a lot of them are interested in asking questions and it's just nice that there's people young like if young people are interested in talking about things and change. Their poem, Hurricane, is about young people rising up and dreaming of a brighter future and the power that young people have when they come together and make the world a better place with their voices one. Hands raising banners, holding them high, so no one can question why you would strike. And we are so alike, we follow your lead with the words that we read and we write in protest, in celebration and with fight because you passed this down to us. I'm here today for show racism, the red car, and it is amazing how the atmosphere is here today and the support we've had inside that tent, just like people. It's like a oneness, it's like one family. So I've been coming to the gala for a long time. Um, my family are from Fishburne, which is a pit village. So it's part of our culture. It's a celebration of, of being a working class person. And it's a day just where you feel solidarity with all, all of us coming together. Well, for us, it's quite a political occasion, but it's uh, an enjoyable one and an opportunity to meet uh, lots of lovely people. Yeah. Check your coat, roll up your sleeves. Have a game for the crowd. Whoa, harmonies! <laughs> I think this is about my 40th Miners Gala that I've actually played that and love every one of them, even though you're up at half past five in the morning and you're maybe drinking whiskey by seven o'clock, you know, something like that. But it's a great thing and it should be maintained as much as possible. in our region since 1869. 
What a tradition we have. We stand on the shoulders of giants. Our movement is fighting, our movement is winning, and our movement, brothers and sisters, is back. It's them and us. Them being the Tories and the capitalist class, and us, the working class. Dublin. Uh, we arrived last night. I'm a member of SEPTU. It's a trade union based in Dublin, and uh, we've just we've nothing like the the gala at home. And this is just it's my third year coming. It's really fantastic. It's the best of British working class culture. It's such such a pleasure to be here and be a part of it. And it's just a lovely gathering of nice grounded working class people who I'm so proud of, a lot of them. <laughs> 